All right, in this video, I'm going to test out a photogrammetry software. And if you don't know what photogrammetry is, it's basically a method of taking a whole bunch of pictures of an object or an environment and then using some sort of weird algorithm to turn all those images into a 3D model. This uh, website right here, you can download a version of, uh, uh, it's a free version of their photogrammetry software. And the biggest limitation with this software is it only allows you to use up to 50 images per a project. But other than that, it's pretty much all open and free to use forever. Now, keep in mind though, most photogrammetry uh, projects or, uh, or 3D scans by photos takes more than 50 images except for small objects. But I'm going to try and um, recreate a portion of my backyard using photogrammetry and this software. I took 38 pictures of my backyard and I'm going to run it through this program and see how good of a job it will do with just 38 pictures. I would imagine to do it correctly it would take several hundred images. But this is just a small part of the yard and uh, only 38 pictures. So let's give it a try. See what it does. Alright, uh, keep in mind I will put the link to this website in the description of this video so you can download it and try it out. Alrighty. Here's all the images I took and basically I just took a whole bunch of images from several different positions and several different angles and like I said I only took 38 pictures which it would have been better with about two or three hundred. But here we go anyway. I'm going to go ahead and close this and I got the program opened up. Now I'm not going to show you how to use this because I'm still trying to learn it but it's it seems to be fairly intuitive so I'm just going to kind of rush through this portion without really explaining what I'm doing because quite frankly I could possibly uh, be doing part of it wrong now I just went to the folder and selected all the images that I took opened them up and And it does have a, a few selections here. You have aerial, close range, human body, and urban. Uh, since I'm trying trying to recreate an environment, I'm going to use urban. If uh, I was trying to recreate some kind of topology, you know, like aerial photographs, I would obviously put it on the aerial. aerial. And close range, that would be used if you're trying to do a 3D scan of an object like a rock or a statue and of course human body if you're scanning a person so I'm gonna put on urban and I'm gonna keep it at default for the rest and then everything else urban and default urban and default and I'll leave that on default too and then I'll just click next and run now this will probably take about 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes because I'm the images that I'm using our 24 megapixel images and uh, my understanding is large images will work better assuming that uh, the majority of the image is in focus Shh, my cat's being noisy um, large images are best assuming that the um, majority of the image itself is in focus except for maybe really really far off things or really really close things but preferably they want <clears throat> you know your aperture fairly narrow so every, you have a wide uh, field of view and like I said it probably take 30 minutes or a little bit longer so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then I'll get back to you whenever it's finished doing what it's doing be back in a second all right it looks like it's finished so let's take a look at it and see how good or bad of a job it does now keep in mind I'm not expecting it to 
have done a good job at all because again only 38 pitchers and likely I need hundreds all right well that's not too bad I guess I mean there's obviously a lot of holes in the mesh because I didn't take any uh, images behind the car or back here on the corner but realistically it's not that bad and you can see the individual camera positions So that's not bad in my opinion. I bet you if um, I could capture my entire home, pretty much the entire yard, um, and do a fairly decent reproduction of it um, with about three or four hundred images. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and export this. Export textured mesh. Uh, I don't want to upload the SketchUp. I'm going to export it as an object. That way I can open it up in Blender because you know I like Blender. And let me find right there. Uh, let me call that just back yard see how long it takes probably sh shouldn't take no more than a few seconds I wouldn't think but I don't know yeah just took a few seconds now I'm going to go ahead and close this program because I don't need it no more and I don't need to save it because it's not like it's a fancy project. Um, go ahead and open up Blender and then make sure it imports correctly into Blender. File, uh, import, uh, where are you at? Here it is, object. Uh, there we go and I'm assuming it'll take a while to import I don't know for sure but I guess 56 megabytes for basically just a mesh is quite a bit oh it's all sideways Alright, let me see if I can orient this. Okay, I'm going to rotate that on the x-axis. And then rotate it on the y-axis. Alright. That's it in a blender. Let's see if the texture automatically applied. Put it on material. And there it goes the texture. So that's not bad. With just 38 pictures and it was able to do that good of a job, that's not bad at all. And it cut out a whole bunch of the junk that it just couldn't calculate. And I'm wondering, let me uh, uh, turn off uh, the, uh, you know, the environment lighting. And I'm going to turn on the lamp. Use nodes, I'm going to put that on about 
2500 and uh, where is it right there in the middle all right turn my camera back on and now I'm going to position my camera uh, lock camera to view rotate my camera around zoom out a little bit and then let's see what this looks like now let me go ahead and put this on border huh now that's interesting that's I, I could see some really neat stuff being done with this if I had a complete mesh because it almost looks like it's a nighttime scene with a, 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 a light on a post I guess you could say let me change this from point to Sun bring us down to about three well, threes. Why is it? Well, it's probably the angle. Zero, zero, zero. Let me boost it up to about five. Add just a little bit of environment lighting. Point two five. One. But that's. Let me do it this way. Let me add. An HDRI. And something that looked like it may fit in that kind of area. Yeah, we'll try that one. It would definitely look a lot better if the mesh was complete but I tell you what I'm going to attempt to make something halfway decent out of this and then I'm going to play it and then end the video tell me what you think and again if you want to try out this photogrammetry software the link to it will be in the description of this video let's roll that bean footage